Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to Attaché Wine. This is another episode of What's Nick Drinking? Um, I know what you're asking yourself and the answer is yes. Wine tastes incredibly better when you have an awesome mustache. Um, and you also automatically just know everything there is to know about wine. So it is true. At Attaché Wine, we're all about the community. We're all about listening. So your feedback is super important. And I was really excited to get a comment and a question from um, at Evie Girl. And she wanted to know what red varietals are the best for porch pounding in the summer. So immediately I think of reds that are really smooth, really easy to drink, um, lighter bodied, lower tannin, fresh. So maybe like a moderate plus acidity. Um, so that when it's really hot outside, you don't feel like you're chewing on the wine and it's too heavy and uh, or it's making you like hotter um, than you should be. should be like cooling you down um, and being super enjoyable, but still having a lot of that red wine, red varietal character. Additionally, uh, you drink these more chilled, uh, colder than you would normal red wines. So you can actually throw them in the fridge and get a slight chill on them, probably about 20 30 minutes tops in the fridge, um, and then it should be incredibly drinkable and smooth. So instead of like tasting the wines all with you tonight, I thought I would take you shopping with me um, and we would explore some lighter varieties that, uh, to drink and um, find yourself some great porch pounders at affordable prices, of course. So come on, let's go. What's up everybody? I'm shopping, I'm trying to get some light reds for summer. Light body, low tannin. I'm here at Molly Spirits in Denver. What up? I'm gonna give you guys some good recommendations while I shop. You down with OPT? Yeah, you know me. Oh, yeah. Boom, Andre Mack in the house. Come on. Sweet. They're all delicious. Yes, this is the this is the new normal now. Mast Avenger, Wine Avenger, Lambrusco, baby. So I'm looking for a dry Lambrusco, and they found one for me right here. But the problem is this one's off dry, and I know because right here in the bottom it says Amabile which means kind of amicable or soft or off track. So it is slightly sweet. Still good, just not what I was looking for. So when it comes to Lambrusco, definitely recommend dry. I was trying to figure out whether it's actually said dry in the label, which in Italian I think would be secco. Um, it doesn't look like it has that information. so. I would, if it just says Lambrusco Rosso, then I think it, it's probably dry. But if it says Amabile, it's gonna be semi-sweet. And if it says Dolce, it's gonna be sweet. So that's how you know. So it's not the sweet stuff your grandma used to drink. Do it. 